I mention it often. Look, I hear people say the Jews are counted out and this and that, but they're liars and they don't understand any of their Christian faith. Very few times do I see people go to learn the roots. And without roots, you're not you. If you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you go. Uh, you could end up doing Pharaoh Egypt from 5,000 years ago and not even know it. Behold, that's what we do. They repeat Pharaoh word for word from Exodus 5. Get a job, you're lazy. You can't pay, you can't pay. Then we'll beat your ass, take away, and you'll pay more. Well, that's what they do with them with insurance uh, to the poor. They rob the poor for being poor. Um, they do this in lots of different ways. And when you do that, when you set up establishment that you have to pay, you're not free. You're now forced into pursuit of slavery, idolatry. Well, Israel's history, scripture, it proves all this. And we're a nation founded in covenant to that God. And Israel is the only civilization still alive, still thriving with the from the ancient world. The, the only ones, and they're the only ones that claimed God of God of gods, the, the maker of gods. No other nation did that, not, not Rome, not, uh, not Greece, not, not Egypt. No one did that, but Israel. And it's very strange, don't you think? No one did that. Assyria, Ishtar, all these were not the maker of gods. They all in their mythologies were after the gods and supposedly they killed God. But Israel's the only one in most of the theologies, that's what it was. Or the people before them did. Whatever it was, Israel's the only one that came out and said, we're with the maker of gods. He's the maker of all things. And they're the only one still here. And God tells you in the scriptures to go test this, find out. And he even calls them forth. He says, everybody come. Now bring your gods, bring your gods and see if they will tell you things that will come to be before they come to be. Where's your God at? Where, where are they at? They're nowhere. Because I'm the only God. I know no other, says God. He's being a smart ass to all them that worship other gods. Well, this is for future accounts for us today. And in 1947, Israel walked back into their nation for the second time without a shot, without an army, on the verge of extinction, without a shot fire. That means the prophecy, 2006, 800 years old, comes true. That's undeniable. And people are trying to fuck with this God talking new world order like God didn't smash that shit out in Egypt. He's going to make you eat your fucking kids. Y'all don't answer right. 